Tensions are escalating in Lynchburg as council members clash over the recent primary election results. Earlier today, two councilmen released recordings they claim reveal inappropriate conduct involving the city attorney. WDBJ 7's Layla Mitchell was at the meeting and has more. The conclusion of the Peter Alexander vs. Chris Feraldi primary election for Ward 4 City Councilman ended in a lawsuit filed by Alexander challenging the results. And on Monday morning, Lynchburg City Council members Marty Mischens and Jeff Helgeson released recordings between Helgeson and the city attorney. Just give your thoughts on the uh, city They claim the recordings expose misconduct in the Feraldi Alexander lawsuit. In the phone call, the city attorney informed uh, Mr. Helgeson about the Alexander v. Feraldi lawsuit. He then informed him that the suit could impact the outcome of the GOP primary. He then informed Mr. Uh, Helgeson that he had already spoken with others, and I'm assuming that those others would be other city council members to get their thoughts on the city joining the lawsuit and defending Chris Feraldi. Mischens and Helgeson provide transcripts and emails, including one where Friedman threatens to remove them from office if the recordings were made without consent. Friedman's email suggests censure or removal from office if it was a, quote, surreptitiously recorded phone call. They argue the recordings are legal as they were not client privilege conversations. It's unprecedented. You know, like I said, that's why we recorded the phone call because I've been watching this hostility and vitriol growing. I've been watching it being one-sided. It's not fair. Mischens and Helgeson said they called this press conference to demand answers. I think we just need to get to the bottom of, of the facts here. Who asked who for what? You know, or, or, or did the city attorney come up with this plan to represent Chris Feraldi using city resources on his own? They also criticized Mayor Stephanie Reed's conduct during a heated special session last Tuesday. Mischens and Helgeson claim the mayor's actions were intended to silence them. There is nothing in the city council rules of procedure regarding use of council chambers for press conferences. Absolutely nothing. I reached out to Friedman, the city attorney, for comment. He responded, stating he takes his duty seriously and disagrees with the allegations made by Ms. Jones and Helgeson. We have not yet heard back from Mayor Reed or Chris Feraldi. Reporting in Lynchburg, Layla Mitchell, WDBJ 7.